keeping you up to speed with hardcore music. The music is what it's all about. I love it just like you love it. That's why you're here. I'm here because I love to play. You don't come, I can't play, and I love to play. So, so, we don't want to make too many speeches because it's all about the music. You just heard a hardcore sequence of hot shot dub plates from down Jamaica way. Right about now, we're going to start to change the pace and change the style. During the course of the night, we switch and we swap and we ride around the track together. Together, together, together. Why I, 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 why Watch this. Hey, Mr. Undertaker, build them a coffin. Oh, no, 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 my mistake. Make that too. <laughs> Say one for the selector, one for the owner. Lordy, lordy. Can't you see that my sound is taking over, taking over? Enough sound come one cross we we bada, cross we bada. But I know that my sound of the man the harder, and the harder cause we do the killing, them do the burying. I feel me sound no rump no skin when we do the killing, them do the burying. This ya sound no ramp, no ramp, no skin, boy Oh, Lord, cause we do the killing, them do the burying This ya sound ya no ramp, no skin, green We do the killing, them do the burying And my sound it no ramp, no ramp, no skin, boy Oh, So how do you find it was absolutely fabulous. I haven't played here for a long time. In fact, I was trying to figure out how long it is. It is a number of years. And I certainly haven't played here. And the sound system, I have to say, was off the radar. It really was amazing. It makes your life much easier as a DJ when the sound system is proper. And tonight it was proper. And all I saw was a sea of smiling faces. So when you're a DJ, because I like to DJ with love. I hope that doesn't sound cheesy. But like, do you know what I mean? There's so many problems in the world on a day-to-day -day basis we all have to carry our own personal load and deal with life so when you come out to have fun you've been working all the hard all day whatever your job is whether it's exciting or tedious or boring or student workers whatever it is whatever you do when you come out to hear music you're supposed to enjoy yourself and and all I love to do is to see people enjoying themselves and when I came up tonight just saw these I tried to speak and it's just you know it's definitely when you're given a reception like that, it's, it's, well, it's just wonderful. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, they were a really responsive audience, and, and I played various styles of music, and they, they loved it. I loved it too. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Police in helicopter. I search the marijuana Policemen in the streets Searching for Cali weed Soldiers in the field Burning the Cali weed But if you continue to burn up the herbs We gonna burn down the cane fields If you continue to burn up the herbs We gonna burn down the cane fields So obviously your set tonight coincides with the 30th anniversary of Bob Marley. How did he shape your career and how do you reckon he shaped like, reggae in general? He had a phenomenal impact on reggae music and he certainly had a phenomenal impact on me as a young lad growing up in a small village in Oxfordshire where, you know, the only people that listened to me were the cows in the field, you know, uh, more or less. I mean, it, it, was, it was pretty, well, it was country. Um, and I had these scar records by the Wailers. One ha, one ha, let's get to get scar versions. And then, what's new, Pussycat? Oh, what's new, Pussycat? You know, not the Tom Jones version, the Wailers version. And I was fascinated by this band, these singers, and uh, I thought they had a great sound. And um, of course, when the whole band broke up and Bob went solo, well, there were changes and so on, but he has had a phenomenal impact because the thing about Bob Marley, as we heard at the end there, there are so many wonderful songs that that man wrote that literally touch people's hearts and souls. Truly, you know, I mean, very spiritual, very, very loving, 
conscious, songs of freedom, songs about oppression, small acts, um, songs about what happened to him, ambush in the night, they tried to kill him, you know. Gunmen tried to execute him in his own country. How, how messed up is this world? Um, how many Tim Pot ty tyrant dictators can run this world and how many of them still do? Odyssey and the UK Cup clash, which was about three years ago in 2008, in the one for one with Base Odyssey. Um, they, um, I, I've, I've had some big clashes with them over the years, and I'm a big fan of Scringy. He's no longer with us, but I loved him. He's fantastic. And also, I love clashing with, uh, with Kilimanjaro. Ricky Trooper could be an inspirational selector when he was when he was ready. Sometimes he. He would have mood swings, but essentially he was an inspired selector. So I'd say Base Odyssey 2008, the one for one in the UK Cup Clash, which I lost incidentally, but it didn't matter, it was still close. Um, and we have a lot of sound clashes here, like we've been, they've been getting like loads of great reception at the moment. What do you think makes sound clashes so enjoyable for like the consumers, like everyone? I think because it's a bit like a musical chess game and people have to think very quickly, and so it requires selectors to be very observant and very careful, pay attention to detail, they can't repeat, they can't play back, so they've got to really be on form and, and stay up to speed. It's, uh, it doesn't really matter how many dub plates you've got, uh, that's irrelevant. Uh, sound clashing began before dub plates, there's nothing new about sound clashing, it's as old as the music. The idea is that you outwit your opponent with what you say and what you play. And to be a good selector, you have to be a good collector. So if you haven't got a collection yeah. of records, yeah. you're probably going to be a crap selector. <laughs> <laughs> If you're ready for the bass line, give me one finger in here. 